Noel McGrath here for SevereMMA.com with Ian Enton Whistle ahead of UFC 204 this weekend. Ian, first of all, um, for you, obviously, you know, very special this week, um, fighting in the UK. You know, what's the feeling like for you? Brilliant, you know. Um, this, the arena where we're fighting at is the arena where I decided I wanted to be a fighter, pretty much, you know. I watched Ricky Atten fight Costa Zuri and win the title. I think it was a 16-year-old kid. And that's what got me really, really interested in fighting, you know. And to, to be here now, it, 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 it's brilliant for me, you know. If I could pick any arena into the world to fight in, it'd be this one. We look at you and your career, obviously, you know, you haven't had a fight that's gone outside the first round. Um, you had the Dan Hooker fight, obviously didn't go your way. You bounced back. Is it about really getting some consistency? Um, were you possibly trying to finish things too quickly? Mate, I'm the Darren Anderson of MMA. Seriously, you know. The, the owner at Phuket Top Team will tell you, you know. I'm the most talented guy he's worked with. But I'm an idiot, you know. I, I caused my own problems. I came into the UFC determined to prove I was the best leg locker in the world. Where I should have just been determined to win fights, you know. That's what a normal person would do. But I know, no, I was so determined. I'm going to be the best leg locker in the world. I'm going to show everyone I can do this. I'm going, to, and I wanted to finish with certain things, you know. And I obviously I fought Daniel. Daniel, I had him in a, a, a heel hook, and he hit me 50 times with elbows, and I still refused until he turned my lights out to let go of the submission. Now, if that's not an idiot, I don't know what is. And then I went to fight Burchek at my weight. I went to fight Burchek in the bantamweight division, and I beat him in a minute and six seconds. After that fight, Burchek then went on to beat George Soto very, very quickly, which took TJ Dillashaw five rounds in a championship to, to do, you know? Um, and then I went and fought a Mexican who I should have battered, you know? It was set up perfectly for me to take him apart. And, you know, whether whether when I touched him, I believed he was greased or not, it's irrelevant. He has a neck, I could have choked him, you know? I've worked my whole life to be here, and I threw it away by complaining an official for four minutes of a fight, you know? And I only have myself to blame for that. The UFC seemed to put you up against, as you said, you know, Anthony Burchak, guys like that, um, Dan Hooker, um, Rob Font now, a very exciting guy. A lot of people have been talking about him. They seem to only put you in really, really good fights. So they must be expecting something very, very big of you as well. Yeah, you know, I, I'll fight anyone, you know, whoever they want to give me, you know. I don't, I don't ever want to have a gimme, you know. And I don't think there are any gimmies in the UFC anyway, you know. Has that been maybe your, your problem when you came into promotion that you thought you were a little bit too good? Because your attitude has even changed. No. Um, you used to be a little bit more maybe aggressive towards your opponents in, in what you said? Uh, well, you know, I think having a son helped me. Um, and it, I, I've grown up, you know, I, as you get older, you grow up, you know, and and I, I've had to really look at myself and thought, you lost because you're an idiot. I, I've, I've never looked at, you, you can't look at my fights in the UFC and say, I was out, I've ever been outclassed, you know? With Daniel Hooker, scissor sweeped him, swept him, heel up positioned him, Transition from heel up to heel up to heel up whilst he was punching me in the head, you know. And, and Daniel didn't do anything apart from throw his arms about and hit me a lot in the head, you know. And I have only myself to blame for not letting go of that leg lock and taking top position, you know. Which is a frustrating thing for me because he, he didn't. I whether he would have beat me or not, who knows? You know whether I'd have won or not, who knows? But. We won't know if I continue to act like an idiot and be like, how dare you not submit to my leg lock? That's what I'm thinking. Like, how dare you? And $50,000, you know what I mean? I can't have that attitude. I just need to go out and win fights. And, and that's what I'm determined to do. For me, it doesn't matter in football terms. It doesn't matter if I win from a tap-in in this fight or from a screamer from 60 yards. I just want to win now, mate. It would be a nice thing possibly for you for the fight to go outside the first round um, for, for a change on Saturday night, maybe get, get a little bit more of a feel in there. Yeah, you know, it would be, be, be very nice, but I think realistically, I, I take too many chances in a fight. It's, it, for me, it's, it's kill or be killed. If it goes out the first round, it goes out the first round, but I'm the type of guy that, that just goes, goes out, you know, and I, I go to fight, you know. The people who win by decisions, in my mind, I don't win, it's a draw, you know. I, 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 don't, I don't believe in that, but what, what, whatever happens, happens, you know. I, my coach makes me prepare for, for many rounds, you know, and, and in previous fights, I haven't listened to that, you know. I've just thought, Ian will do what Ian wants to do. And Ian, Ian's gonna Are you going to listen more on Saturday night? 
I, I have done, you know, I've already learnt my lesson. I prepared completely different. For once, I'm not going in with injuries because I've not overtrained. Um, I'm actually fit to do my round, you know, sometimes I, I've had a little bit of, <laughs> I don't need to do, look at these idiots doing nine, ten rounds. Mate, I finish fights in a minute, you know. I haven't had that attitude, you know, and th I, I've took the attitude I, I, of a grown-up now because, obviously, I, everyone grows up at different rates, you know. I, I'm 29 now, it's time to be an adult. Looking forward to the fight on Saturday. Do you appreciate the time? Anytime, mate, anytime.